Good YouTube, it's your boy Musa back with another vlog. Today's vlog is not really a vlog, it is mainly fitness focused. So if you're really not into that fitness stuff, this might not be the video for you. But before you leave, please hit the video with a like and I'll catch you guys in the next uh, vlog. Today I'm just going to be taking you guys through my pool workout, explaining the exercises and stuff like that. So sit back, relax, enjoy it, and hopefully you pick up some tips and some exercises to add to your own program. Let's do this thing. So first exercise, we have a seated row. Um, I started off with one plate, and here I've added two plates. I am changing my hand position. I like to mix it up when I'm training um, a pool workout or just the overall workouts. I like to switch it up every now and then. For the most part, I keep it very, very consistent. But every now and then I switch up just the hand grips and the rep range and stuff like that. Um, I'm always trying to look for progressive overload, but you can't do that every week. I haven't done pull-ups in a very, very long time simply because I had some pain right here in my forearm for a few months actually. Um, so today I said, you know what, let me just add it in. It's not actually on my program. I just decided to add it in just to see where I'm at with like the injury and stuff. Um, and it has healed but there was still a slight little pain just a little bit I could feel just a little tingle and I was like mm, maybe I need to back off so I ended up doing one more set of pull-ups um, and then I stopped after that so I only did two sets of that like I said it's actually not on my program I just decided just to test where your boy is at and the second time I ended up doing eight because around the sixth rep I could feel I was like, okay Let's not try and re-injure this. Um, we kept away from pull-ups due to this injury. Let's let it fully recover. That's why I'm doing a lot of exercises where it's my forearms are involved, but not like crazily involved. Um, with this seated row, again, I suffer from a little bit of a back pain as well, as you guys know, I've told you. So that's why I'm doing seated instead of just doing a barbell bent over row, which is what I used to do um, like religiously because it is like the best exercise for like mass if, if performed right um, but this seed row as well it just lets you focus straight just attacking your um, back thickness and uh, lats as well and um, that's the reason why the close grip one is for the thickness of the back and then you've got a wider one which is mainly like lat spread and stuff like that um, here we've got a drop set a mega drop set um, <laughs> of uh, dumbbell curls just repping out start off with a heavy weight down to the lightweight you can do it the other way around but you're most likely going to be using a lot of momentum towards the end so i prefer to start heavy and then go down to the lightest weight and the lightweight still feels heavy once you're done with those two heavy ones and then here i'm using 8 kg it feels heavy you can see my face suffering just banging out hella reps i don't do this every week sometimes i just go for a heavy weight do around six to ten reps three sets and that's it so mix it up make your training fun that's the point you know this is a lifestyle it's not just something i'm just doing to get to a certain body and then just go back to doing nothing you know it's it's a way of living i'm doing this for the rest of my life so mix it up guys make it fun here i'm doing cable rows why am i doing cable rows because of the resistance it's constantly pulling you back so that means the lats are fully engaged throughout the movement all the time dumbbell wise there's a certain limit like when you're hanging on the floor eh, it's not it's not constant resistance like the cables. so um, mix it up again you know sometimes do dumbbells sometimes do cables just like i do um, seated row again this one's a low one just a lot of rows because i really want to work on my lats and uh, back thickness in general uh, even though i think my back is pretty thick now <laughs> but i've been really doing a lot of rows strugs for the trap them thing there we love that and that was pretty much the workout guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this little commentary and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace